got 7.3. We did worse. What? I cannot uh, just spend $1.3 million and there was no change. It's fine. Let's see what we get, guys. Hopefully, we get a better time. 34.2. What? What's going on? I did worse that lap. <laughs> what? Whoa. Guys, that was amazing. But what's more amazing, guys, is that we finally hit... 250,000 subscribers. Now, I have a new challenge for you. Our brand new goal is 500,000 subscribers. So before this video gets started, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to click that post notification bell for more videos and live streams. Now I gotta go, guys. I'm late for my race. I'll see you in the video. Yo, check out the size of this wing. Welcome back. It's your boy T-Pro. And today, guys, we are here in a CDT because we are going to be fully reviewing this and upgrading this Volkswagen. Yes, this is a Volkswagen. IDR here in a CDT. This fully electrified GTP or Le Mans car right over here. But before we get started, be sure to smash the thumbs button. Subscribe if you guys haven't. And don't forget to click that post notification bell. And we'll definitely go over this huge massive wing of a car that is just insane guys we just unlocked this and yeah let's get this video started all right first thing first i kind of want to change the color not really rocking the baby blue all right let's go ahead and go with like a cooler color let's go with a ooh, the lime green looks nice but the green looks cooler too we got the red right here pretty basic we got white gray looks nice we got the deep blue in here and we also have green some of these colors just don't look good like see this looks better on the car itself than it does on the picture it looks nothing like the picture all right dark green looks a little bit better look at this guys now let's check out the stats of this car you guys can see it has a top speed of 232 miles an hour not bad and a handling of 9.2 whoa that's really good and it's an all-wheel drive and you guys can see it's worth 4.5 million dollars this is the last car on the season 10 guys so you can see it's right over here i'm kind of disappointed they didn't put a wrap on this this would have been sick with a wrap guys all right let's go ahead and check this out let's go ahead and see how fast this car is first and to test that guys we gotta go on the half mile drag race here we go oh it just takes off like that you guys can see we only got one gear too that's what it looks like in first person you cannot see anything out of these gtp Bruh. cars but here we go 7.1 not bad not bad for a stock car this kind of reminds me of like the acid martin valkyrie from the back guys this kind of reminds me of like the acid martin valkyrie from the back guys and the crazy thing about this car for being this long and with this huge massive wing it really has pretty great handling on the circuit track guys even these tight turns it is doing amazing and i think the all-wheel drive helps a lot and it being electric too guys i think that those two factors actually does help a lot and if we do a le mans race guys this car might be the first one on my list just because it's actually really really good in handling and it's great in acceleration and this is just stock this is stock guys all right here we go last lap this has to be like the best lap ever boys here we go this is the stock not oh 33.8 what stock bros 33.8 dude that's almost as good as the bleed let's turn on our lights let's see how our lights look like whoa look at this kind of matching with the grass right now but look at the lights on this this is actually pretty sick now before we go further with any race i just want to like look further into this car you guys can see it kind of has like these mercedes rims on it like the clk rims or even like the amg type rims you guys can see we have this huge massive front lip in the face of the car guys with those huge huge carbon fiber canards right there i've never seen canards like those ever in my life and you guys can see we also have this huge side carbon fiber uh splitter with this massive carbon fiber wing and it even has canards on the wing itself too guys you can see that that i've never seen that ever in my life this is probably one of the coolest wing i've seen ever and probably the biggest too maybe bigger than the mclaren senna but this is absolutely insane it's probably it's kind of plain in design i'm not gonna lie to you you guys can see 
from the top over here it kind of almost reminds us of a Koenigsegg or a McLaren P1 or even a Speedtail but it's pretty plain design and not bad I wish we had a skin for it though all right we are back home at the new season race I have to try here stock first guys because this is the race that was in the brand new season and it just makes sense and we're running like a, a hot lap right over here I seen someone do a hot lap on this race I'm not sure what their best time was but I'm pretty sure I could beat it as annoying as this one gear electric car sounds guys this car is actually really really good <laughs> it's super good it's worth the 7,000 trophies the only thing I don't agree about is probably interior guys like this is horrible you cannot see anything or you can't even see anything from the side too I'm not gonna lie this would probably go against the bully it would probably beat the bully guys but here we go final uh, lap 107 not bad not bad for a stock car guys but let's go ahead and upgrade this bad boy we've been driving this thing stock it's been a little bit boring so let's go ahead and see how much this is gonna cost our pockets all right first thing first guys let's go ahead and check this out it is a 4.5 million dollar car and if we wanted to upgrade to the race engine which we have a sport engine and if we wanted to go to the race it's gonna cost us 1.3 million dollars and it's gonna uh, bring us a 20 per 20 mile per hour boost with a 10% acceleration. Let's go ahead and do that. And turbos, turbos don't exist in the electric cars. And then race tires right here, guys. Now we got a fully upgraded Volkswagen IDR. Let's check this out. All right, I'm kind of disappointed. You guys can see it only has a 20 mile per hour increase. I thought it would give us at least, you know, 40. For $1.3 million, guys, we're now able to go 252 miles an hour instead of 232. And let's go ahead and test this out at the 1 4th mile. And let's see if we can get a little bit faster time than last time. Here we go. Whoa, look at that. We got some great cars in here. Let's see what place we get. And boom. First place at 7.2 seconds, guys. What? Okay, I swear I got the same exact time without boost, guys. Like, seriously, without engine upgrade, I feel like I got the same exact time. All right, I'm running this again. I cannot uh, just spent $1.3 million and there was no change. Look at that, 7.3. We did worse. What? Okay, you know what? Maybe this wasn't the best upgrade. Okay, circuit track, I got a 33.8. If I don't get any better than that, then this is probably a waste of a $1.3 million up to the upgrade. All right, honest opinion, I don't think this $1.3 million upgrade is going to make a difference. Because number one, guys, it only gave us a 10% acceleration increase i don't know what that 10 percent is gonna do to 33.8 seconds but i hopefully it does a little bit i have a bleed right behind me who has a perfect 10 handling and is way faster than me in top speed guys but let's see if we can actually beat the bully here we go the bully just panicked real quick and so did i oh my gosh this is a neck-to-neck -neck race i part i'm pretty sure i got my best lap already in but now we're racing against this bully. No! <laughs> no, the bully got the dub, bro. It's okay. It's fine. Let's see what we get, guys. Hopefully, we get a better time. 34.2. What? What's going on? I did worse that lap. <laughs> what? Okay, that's not right. I gotta run that again. All right, here we go. 33.1, 33.7 seconds. All right, here we go. 33.7 seconds. Uh, not bad. Still close to the first one. But let's go ahead and just finish it off at the season race, guys. And... Honestly, the mods for this car, I'm gonna say it's kind of not worth it, especially when it came to the drag race, guys. It didn't really change much. 10% acceleration doesn't really change much, especially if you take this to the drag race. Circuit race doesn't really make much of a difference, like I said, again. Now, if they would have added a, you know, boost in here, a turbo, I think that would have been a lot better. But other than that, guys, this car is honestly not worth upgrading if you guys don't have the extra money. Now, good thing this car is free because <laughs> I I would have been definitely upset of a car that I could not even upgrade a turbo. I mean, technically a turbo doesn't exist on this car and so doesn't an engine and motor does, but I wish that it would have given us a more upgradable uh, options, and guys. I feel like Tesla has more upgrade options than CDT does. First person view, guys, you literally have to memorize the track. 
to like get this <laughs> to get this down because I cannot see from the side to save my life. I can barely see what's in front of me, but the good thing is we can totally see the road, which is perfect. But to make these impossible turns like that, guys, yeah, no, it's not gonna work. It's definitely not gonna work. And even with this race right here, guys, I know that we're not gonna get a better time just because the most acceleration we got was 20 miles an hour, and that's not really gonna make a big difference here, especially since we're barely hitting our top speeds in this game guys but that is it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed this and if you did be sure to smash that thumbs up button subscribe if you guys haven't and also comment down below what do you guys think about this brand new volkswagen idr in the comments down below do you guys think it's worth it do you guys think it's not and if you do like it guys let me know what your favorite part about it is look at that final lap 107 not bad guys not bad but thank you so much for watching hope to see you guys in the next video and peace out